Hi, I'm Stefan Paril from Adobe France, and I would like to explain you how to create Illustrator this Ishara color blindness test. So, I designed this uh, Ishara test uh, for the the conference I did with Rufus Deschler. Uh, at Adobe Max 2015, uh, this color session, you can find the link in the description of this video. Uh, at the end of this uh, of this uh, session, uh, you, could, uh, you, uh, you you will see that in the re in the replay uh, recording. Uh, we talk about uh, how to design uh, to be accessible compliant uh, regarding color blindness uh, disease. So please take a look there. Uh, if you don't know what is an Ishara test, take a look at Wikipedia there. Again, the link in the description. And if you want to know what's really matter uh, and why we need to be CUD compliant, so that means color universal design uh, compliant, uh, you will have some uh, some quick explanations there. So first, I had a hard time to figure uh, how to do uh, two things. To create random uh, circle with different uh, sizes, uh, the randomness for the sizes, uh, with uh, spacing, a minimal spacing, and also to randomize the color. Uh, finally, uh, I, I achieved to find a thread on online, but uh, not at the beginning, and not the perfect one at the beginning, uh, created by the excellent uh, Jianghua, a great scripter in the, in the, uh, in the community. Uh, so the first edition cycle fill, which is uh, which is not this one. Uh, this one is the one the two, uh, the one uh, you had to use to to do uh, both the the random uh, circle size and also to randomize the, the color. So it will do uh, both in the same place. But actually, uh, it will do that for the creation. But if you need to adjust the color or if you need to randomize the color on a series of of shapes with with no color. Another script could be really useful. This script is named Randomize Color from my friend uh, David Dorat. Uh, there, I will demonstrate that in a, in a few minutes. So download the script, install that, take a look at some tutorials online. I will put a link on how to install a script in the description. The purpose is just to focus on that one. So first of all, how to design that? So um, just install the script of Jungwa uh, in the script folder, and uh, the script will work regarding a, sh a selected shape and in a percentage, maximum and minimal percentage. So uh, during my test, I had a hard time to have this density in a big shape. So I realized I need to define, uh, you know, a shape. Uh, a relatively small but not too small shape, for example the X uh, I really want, uh, which is really compliant of, the, of this size, and to, to work on this size, to generate circles in this uh, size, and use a pattern after that to replicate that and uh, to, to keep this size uh, all around my, uh, my, my file. So I will focus on this size, so just uh, cut that in my uh, my passport, creating a new document just to focus in this tutorial on what's really matter the creation of this circle. So here we are. So uh, with this uh, shape selected, uh, I will use the, the script to so place in the script folder and here a uh, circle fill. So it's the one, the two. So here it's in percentage of this shape. So uh, for my shape, I would like to have 8% maximum, 3% minimal. And the mean distance, the minimal distance will be 0.5 point. And in place of choosing uh, a single color for every dot, I will use a folder. So create first the folder, a, a, a group, uh, a swatch group, with the color you want for the randomization. So let's say uh, let's say cold, for example, uh, and it will create for you the randomization and the color. To be honest, uh, generally I use only one field color, and I will use the David script later, and I will show you in a minute uh, why I use that in that way. It keeps selected the rectangle I don't need anymore. I will undo that. I will 
apply a single color and you will see in one minute why and now select all the circle and put that in your drag that in your swatches panel that will create for you uh, a pattern there I can uh, hide if I need to come back again on it create a new layer and for example fill that with my pattern and you can see there is some issue there in my area so let me first use my transform panel be sure in the flyout menu that transform object only is selected not both uh, to just um, transform the, the, the box and not the pattern and you can move around and you can see here clearly I need to redefine the, the junction of my seamless pattern so to do that just unselect everything and just double click on your pattern itself let me zoom a little bit on this section and you can see by default it's a 5x5 copy and normally you will have a dim copy so you will fade the copies so here I will uncheck that and I would like to change the box so the reason why there is an offset there is because of this box so I can use my arrow key for example there and use my arrow key to to move there and to to find something which is uh, like I want there. So the reason why I have only one color that's allow me to focus on the junction and to 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 not be disturbed by variation of color to see if this pattern works. So let me, for example, moving stuff like that, duplicating duplicating dots, moving around stuff etc etc and defining the right uh, the right line uh, the, the right uh, positioning and etc etc let's let's do that in that way etc so uh, let's say it's closely what I want and let's say it's okay let's say it's perfect it's not actually but let's say it's okay so now with that I can say down so I will modify my, uh, my, my, my pattern or I can create a copy and I will have now something which is more like what I want so with that in mind you can now use this this copy come there for example and and paste that in a layer like that here uh, and you can just uh, use a reference like for example this one like for example this one for the shape or a circle simply to define the place you want to have your stuff for example there uh, first of all I would like to uh, to expand here my fill so if I expand that you will see there is a group so you need to ungroup first and you will have a clipping mask so select the clipping mask and right click or uh, using the uh, the flyout menu release the clipping mask so now you have group so ungroup several times to be sure you don't have any more any group deselect and I would like to select a rectangle so because when you you create a, a, a pattern it will use the bonding box uh, an empty uh, no fill no struct color bonding box uh, and I don't want that in my colorization that, that could be that could be an issue or a failure later so with one rectangle selected just go to the select a menu same fill and stroke and that will select for you every every uh, rectangle delete that and now you have your series of dots okay so sorry the color of the selector are in the same that are the same that the other one so after that just select for example an ellipse let's say something like that sorry uh, 
x oh, sorry x x uh, up. and uh, let's do that in a layer and let's lock the circle which is just a reference of what I want and now you can use for example your lasso tool to say I would like to do to delete stuff like that delete twice because the lasso tool selects just the anchor point so some if you delete once you you still have part there so, de so delete twice and that's how I build uh, the uh, the circle. So after that, also duplicate paths at one place, another circle, deleting, etc., etc. And after all, you will have your cycle. So that's how I did it. Now, if you if you want to randomize the color, you can uh, you can't use, for example, uh, redefine color there because you have only one color and you can assign another color. So you need to randomize the color. So select first your um, uh, your your um, your path, your cycles, your dots, and then select the folder, not the color, but the folder, the group of swatches. And after that, go to the file menu, script, and use the the David script, which is named Randomize Colors. And with that, it will process a little bit. And that's it. You have it, and after that, coming back in this one, I just duplicated the circle, selecting again this one, changing the color. So just a quick tip there. If you want, because it's that will randomize uh, the color regarding the number of switches there. If you want to have uh, more, uh, more, more dots with that color. You had to duplicate, uh, and same for this one. And this one, uh, I don't want to have uh, to have. I just want to have few of this one, of this one, randomly. So that's the reason why I have some duplication uh, time to time there in my uh, recolorization. So let's say I would like to use this one. Let's say I would like. To, to use again the David script, randomize uh, color, and it, it will do the, the magic for you, and I will just delete uh, the dot which are not uh, on the Adobe Max uh, design. So let's say, okay, now I have both. The, uh, the under circle I, I just uh, locked. So let's now uh, select all these dots, delete, all these dots, delete, etc, etc, and now you know how I did it. So at the end, just hide the stuff and you will have your Ishara test. I hope you learned something, uh, and uh, if you, if I am in the explanation on something, uh, please let me a comment and I will try to answer uh, as quick as possible.